aren't still upstairs. And <laughs> it was yesterday. They are allowed to go home eventually. But it's a nice place to be hanging around, I suppose, after a bit of a Super Bowl party. But, uh, well, there were the two main protagonists there, one on the offence, one on the defence. And I think probably Ray Lewis was the man who... who, who the, the biggest influence in there, him and his defenders. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a team effort, obviously, yeah. on that defense, uh, right from the word go. But Lewis is the one sort of superlative guy there who, who's, who does stuff that few other people can do. And he got his hands on so many balls, especially in the yeah. first half. You know, I think he deserves that. Absolutely. And, and the, kind of the, the ideal man to finish a season in which... As we said at the very start of the show, well, we certainly saw the, the highlights on Monday. Monday Night Football was tremendous. How do you look at a season in which perhaps two teams that no one fans at the start don't play exciting football? How do you look at a season that, 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 that includes that? I don't think we're going to have dynasties for a while yet yeah. until people learn to cope with the salary cap. And, and that's the biggest thing in it, is that it, players move in. A successful team will immediately lose its stars. It'll also lose its coaches. Um, you know, um, the the... The Colts will the call out of the Ravens. I mean, yeah, sure. you know, are definitely going to lose their defensive coordinator. He's probably going to go to Buffalo. Um, the Giants could lose their defensive coordinator. You know, because successful coaches also go. But the idea of keeping a team together is not going to stop. To uh, is not going to keep going for much longer. So perhaps where people may say the standards drop, what that actually means, we're going to see lots of games with a lot more variety, different teams beating other teams all the time. I, I think it's almost yeah. almost inevitable when, you, when you put season. that together with yeah. the imbalanced schedule. The end, you know, the easier schedule you get you're going to get a lot of eight and eight teams going up into Super Bowls you know which is what's been happening the past few years yeah, it's like so getting 10 plus teams in the lights at the start now we've uh, had three more names added to a very exclusive list as a direct result of Super Bowl 35 <laughs> haven't we yeah the list of players who've won both the Super Bowl and a World Bowl ring which includes some of our old friends Dedrick Dodge from the London Monarchs got that first ever World Bowl ring George Coghill from the Scottish Claymores and we've added three names, Kit Vickers and Clarence Love, who played for Frankfurt, Anthony Mitchell, who played for Ryan. Kit Vickers, 95, he played for Frankfurt on the team with Paul Justin. It, it, it's taken him a long time to get this. And, and a, a little word, you know, for the guys like Ab Abifemi Abinbaeo, who played for London. That's not a little word, Mike, yeah, sorry. Spence, Spence Flau, uh, yeah. you know, who played for Ryan uh, on the side. Kyle Richardson played for Ryan. They were all with the Ravens. This exactly, year. and don't forget Kurt Warner from last year as well. Yeah, NFL Europe is most definitely on the map. We'll be back, of course together in September for the 2001 season of the NFL, but there is American football for you, and uh, that is going to be starting, as we can see now, uh, in just a couple of moments' time. The NFL Europe is back here on five. Monday night on the 5th of February, uh, a couple of days' time. 2000 season review, so you can get you nicely up to speed for what's going to be occurring. Then we'll be previewing uh, on the 16th of April the 2001 season, setting you up for what should be a nice little run in, which begins on the 23rd of April. It all culminates in Amsterdam. Monday the 23rd of April is when we all begin again. Yes, indeed, Mike. That looks like it's going to be good fun. Too. I love NFL Europe. I mean, I'm pet prejudiced because I've been covering it from the second year of the league. But, you know, every year I, I just enjoy it more. And so every year more and more of those guys come back and we see them in the NFL and we see them Standards in the Standards there. Nice seeing you again, yeah. Mike. Let's have a good, good time season, in September. Man. Yes, indeed. Great season. In fact, uh, don't take my word for it. Have a look at this <laughs> lot. See you later.